So my blog is located on um, www.brianwong.com. And this, this blog is a hobby blog, um, just a personal blog. And I blog about technology and about internet marketing and, um, and some personal stuff. So there's nothing remarkable about this blog except that it's got a page rank of four and close to 10,000 monthly visitors. And I only update this blog um, on average about once a week. So how, do, how did I get this uh, high page rank and how do I get visitors to my blog? Um, I've been asked this a couple of times, so here's my workflow. The first thing is, whenever I get a, an idea for a new blog post, I normally create a draft on my desktop on a piece of software called Ecto. And I like doing my drafts on Ecto because I can drag and drop images or screen captures directly into Ecto. And I can um, um, do the formatting I can adjust the formatting quite easily like, like a Word document. And the best part is when I'm done editing and I click upload as draft, it uploads all the images for me. So it saves me, uh, I find that it, it helps me to draft out my ideas and also saves me the hassle of having to upload images separately to my image library because of the drag and drop feature. So once I'm done with the draft and it's uploaded to WordPress, then I log into my dashboard and I do final edits. And the final edits here include adding um, a, a custom image because my blog theme allows me to create custom images and resize it automatically. And I also do a little bit of um, editing on the, the, the actual post URL. So the all-in-one SEO plugin allows me to edit the final URL. So these are the only two edits I do. And sometimes I would edit the published, uh, the published time if I want to publish it uh, at a time in the future. Okay, So these are the only two um, steps that I actually do manually. And I do it once a week. So managing this blog takes me literally uh, about half an hour a week um, in order to maintain this blog. Now the magic happens is after I, I post it and the, the post goes live. So all these bits in orange is um, completely automated. So the first thing is the post uh, feed banner will get updated with my new posts. So all the RSS subscribers get updated and they, um, when they, when they read, when they, they, when they log into their Google reader, for example, they will see the, an updated blog post and they can visit my site if they want, if they wish. Uh, the second thing that I've automated is that I've used Aweber's um, blog broadcast feature, and that's really easy to set up. You log into Aweber, put in your FeedBurner account, and anyone who subscribes via email will get sent an email. And I've set this to send out emails every Wednesday of the week. And, and they can actually read the blog post from their email. And the next step is um, I've set up my FeedBurner RSS account on Hootsuite. And Hootsuite is a really awesome social media tool and it's free, so I don't, don't know why anyone would not use it. So Hootsuite allows me to um, automatically update my Twitter account, my Facebook fan page, and my ping.fm account. And I've set up my LinkedIn account to be linked to my Twitter, so these two are kind of synchronized so I know exactly what appears on my Twitter and LinkedIn, uh, it's going to be exactly the same uh, for the status updates. And uh, Hootsuite automatically updates my Facebook fan page. Um, I don't automatically update my Facebook page because um, most of the people there are just friends and family members. So I don't, they may not necessarily be interested in uh, my internet marketing stuff or my, um, um, my tech stuff. So I like to choose manually what I what I post to my Facebook page. But I use Hootsuite to update the fan page. So that's more like my public Facebook page. And then Hootsuite automatically updates ping.fm, which in turn updates over 35 different social network websites automatically. So I already created a post about how to do this, so I'm not going to repeat it. But the purpose of this is just to show you the the workflow that I use and how one post a week gets me 
close to 40 backlinks back to my website. So over time, um, my blog now, I think it's about two years old. So over time, it's built up to a page rank of four and um, getting close to 10,000 views now. And I think, I guess the point here is that if I really wanted to, I could really monetize it. I mean, right now it's making about like you know, 200 bucks a month in AdSense income, but that's okay. I mean, it's all right for a, for a personal blog, but I'm sure some of you who want to blog and make an income from your blog, you might find this uh, workflow handy. So there you go. This is my workflow. I hope it was useful and I'll see you in future videos.